Here's one of my turtle friends. I think this is a guy who's been with me for a long time. See if I can see the colors on there. I look for marks on the shell. Damage, you know, where the animals or coyotes or somebody hurt them, but I, I don't see anything, so I, I don't recognize them at all. See those little patterns? They're no, they're, nobody's got the same pattern. They're like fingerprints. So, he lives down in there. I was on the way to the barn and I seen him down there. He's got a hole. He's got a hole down in there. So I'm gonna leave him alone. Tell him, don't be going in the street, right? That's where we lose most of our turtles. Anyway, Petro 62, you know, <laughs> you find too many turtles this time of the year. Usually they're moving around in June, beginning of the June, May, June. Uh, so anyway, yeah, I was on my way to the barn with my big cup and I was going to go and maybe run my chipper. I got a lot of stuff to chip. B. Petro 062 reporting for... Turtles are still out. They probably need water, you know? I need to water my lawn, give them some water so they got something to work with. There's nothing in my pond. My pond's dried up. It's just a little muddy. They go in there and drink. Anyway, it's me and you down at the barn. <laughs> yeah, I know, that one's dead and that one's dead. They're getting ready to fall. I had a big piece fall the other day in there. Good thing it didn't land on nothing. Them are bicycles that people dumped on me. Them are, they dumped bicycles on me and those three orange barrels, they dumped them on me too. So I got three barrels. No one what to do with them. I fill them up with compost. I used to fill them with rainwater until they busted in the winter. Anyway, me and you and channel 62.